Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. It's an empties video today. So I'm gonna be sharing with you all of the products that I've used up kind of into from the fall into the winter and let you know my thoughts on each one and if I would repurchase them. So if you guys wanna see what is in my empties for winter 2017, just keep on watching. Okay, so here is my empties basket. As you can see, it is full. I do have a few products in here that I used on Grady that I wanted to touch on. I know this is an empties product, like mommy edition, but I did throw a few things for Grady in here that kind of stood out that I wanted to share. So as always, I'm just gonna start grabbing things and tell you guys what I thought, if I would repurchase it and all that. So first off, right on top, I have this dry bar shine mist. It's called Sparkling Soda. I absolutely love this. I actually happen to love Dry Bar, the brand. I mean, they're super expensive, so I can't buy like their whole line constantly. But this is something I have already repurchased because I love it so much. It is expensive. I think it's like $28 or $29. Uh, but it did last me a good long while. I use it maybe every other day. It really truly does make my hair look shinier and healthier, but not oily and a little bit really does go a long way. Um, so I already repurchased it. I really like it and it is something I can see myself continuing to repurchase. So I would recommend this for sure. Next up is this Pantene Air Spray. So this is an alcohol free hairspray. It's extremely light. Um, it holds my hair perfectly, whether I'm wearing it, you know, styled or wavy or curly. Um, it's just perfect. And my hair curls, curls and holds a curl really well. So that's why this is really good for me because of that. Um, it's so light. It just does just enough to hold everything in place, but it doesn't make it feel brittle or sticky or anything like that. Can highly recommend this. I've already put a few people onto this and they are all loving it. And I, I've just been loving Pantene things lately and this one is awesome, especially again, if your hair curls or hold style really well, I can highly recommend this. I got it, I think, at like Walmart or, or Target. Um, it's really, really good though. Moving along, this was a scrub I was gifted. Um, they sell this brand, Wexler brand, at Bath & Body Works. This is the Universal Anti-Aging Cleanser, and it was really good. Um, Price-wise, I don't know where the pro This was in my shower. I think it's like between $16 and $20, but I know Bath & Body Works, um, I'm pretty sure I... Uh, have seen these on sale as well again. This was gifted to me, but I know this brand is sold at Bath and Body Works It was really good. Um, I Wouldn't run out and purchase it, but I was really thoroughly enjoyed it when I used it um, I thought it was really good So in case you've ever been curious about this product at Bath and Body Works again I've seen it there, but I've just never purchased it, but it was really really good Next up is this Pantene three-minute miracle. This is a Moisture Renewal Deep Conditioner. I did not like this. Um, it didn't do anything for me personally. It came in a gift set that I purchased a couple months ago around Christmas time. Um, again, I would not repurchase it. I didn't like it. It didn't do anything for me. So unfortunately, I can't recommend it to you guys. Next up is this Deep Action 60 Second Shower Mask by Clean and Clear. This is a steam activated refreshing deep clean. My gripe with this is the product was hard to get out. As you can see, there is still like enough for a whole application in here, but it just won't come out. And this part, the cap, it won't untwist, it's glued. So that's my gripe because again, as you can see, there's a full application in there. It just won't really squeeze out and I can't get the top off. Other than that, it was pretty good. I wouldn't call it excellent. I wouldn't repurchase it. I thought it was a little above average. Um, but again, that part really bothers me because there's a lot of wasted product in there, as you can see. If this were to unscrew, that would be much, much better. But unfortunately it doesn't. I would not repurchase that. I love this. My friend Gigi turned me on to this. It's the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion with Almond Oil. Um, this one's for dry to very dry skin. I've seen this product for a long time in stores, but just never thought to try it. Um, again, until my friend Gigi recommended it. Um, she told me I would love it, and she was absolutely right. This bottle actually lasted me a long time, and you guys know who have been watching my empties videos, I go through lotions and body butters and creams pretty quickly. This lasted me a while. I wanna guesstimate that this lasted me 
close to six, maybe six weeks. Um, and that's with either every day or every other day use. Uh, my entire body and that's a long time for me a little bit goes a long way it does have since it has the almond oil it is a little bit I don't want to use the word greasy but it does have a little bit of a greasy feel but in a good way I know that sounds strange I don't think this would be for everybody but I really do like it um, it did take me a little adjusting to get used to that oily feel but it's not an oily feel in a bad way again I know that doesn't really sound like it makes sense, but I can recommend this. I personally love it. I've already repurchased a new bottle, and um, I'm really glad my friend Gigi recommended this because it's great, and I also love the way that it smells too. Moving along to this product, it is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Toner. Um, this is for clear and to clear and balance blemished oily skin. This is a spray. Um, and I just would take, this is part of my night routine. I would do maybe three sprays on my face, sort of one on my forehead and one on each side of my, you know, cheek area. Um, this was great. I really liked it. I actually thought it did make a difference. I've already repurchased a new one that I'm currently using. Um, and I really have nothing bad to say about this. If you have problem skin like me, I got this at Target and I would definitely recommend it if you are somebody who wants to clear out or balance your skin. I really, really like this a lot. Um, I have some wipes in here. This was the wipe that I brought to New York for the week when we went for Christmas. They were okay. And then I have a couple of my Pons ones, as always. These are my ride or dies. You guys know this. This one I only, actually, I think this was in like a beauty box, and that's why I brought it to New York um, with me. They were okay, but I, I love my quilted Pons. You guys know that. Uh, this is a product I've used on and off for years. This is by Clean and Clear, very inexpensive. It's like maybe six or seven dollars. Um, it's the Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. I keep one of these in my shower at almost all times. I actually have one in there now. My husband uses it. Um, it's just a really great, simple drugstore deep scrub. It's very invigorating, especially in the shower. Something about the hot water. It's just enough intensity for me because I like a more hardcore scrub. Um, it definitely has that element, but without, you know, the huge price tag. Again, it's like 6 or $7. I really like this. I'll continue to repurchase it. I don't use it every time I shower. I probably use this maybe once a week, but it's really effective, and I like it, especially, again, for the price. This here is obviously from Target. It's the Jurgens Coconut Line Oil Infused Moisturizer. Um, I really liked it. Nothing bad to say. I've mentioned in several different videos. I love the Jurgens Coconut Line. Um, I like the Pump Top Cream. I think a little bit better than this, but I had no issue with this. I liked it. I would definitely repurchase it. I could actually see myself repurchase repurchasing this for the summer or spring when it gets a little bit warmer. But I really liked this a lot. It's great. This has been a staple for literally almost 10 years with my hair care. I've definitely strayed away from it when I'm trying other things, but I always go back to it. It's by far one of, if not the best, drugstore sort of hair mask or deep conditioner, if you will, that I've ever tried. Super inexpensive. You can get a two-pack for like six bucks and throw like three or four dollars when you buy them individually. The Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist, three times the moisture. It's great. I just shampoo my hair, throw this on, leave it on for three to five minutes, wash it out. My hair is noticeably just healthier. I love this stuff. I recommend it to everybody and I can't say enough good things about it. Absolutely love this stuff. I already have a new one in my shower already. This is definitely one of my standout products in this empties edition, the Pantene Detangler. Um, I've heard from people it's not easy to find, um, which I found strange, but actually now that I think about it, it's really not that easy to find. I um, think I've purchased, I think I got this one at Walmart, and then I, the one that I'm using that replaced this when it ran out, I think I also got from Walmart. Um, but I noticed the couple times I've gotten them, there's literally like one or two left. Um, a couple times when I've looked, maybe to, maybe at like at Target, I don't think I found them at all. Um, they're about seven-ish dollars, I believe, but they work really well. Um, I've used really high-end detanglers that are closer to twenty dollars, and this works just as well. Um, and it's a nice size bottle, eight and a half ounces. I think I can get a good three months, maybe three and a half months out of a bottle of this. Um, and I use it because my hair is very tangly when I get out of the shower. So I can highly recommend this. I love the smell. It's effective. It's great. 
I would just recommend if it's something that you try and love, maybe stock up and get a couple bottles because again, it doesn't seem that easy to find um, or that plentiful when it is in stock. So I really like this a lot. Couple things I have for Grady that I saved. I really liked this. It's the Shea Moisture brand. Uh, this is the Provence Lavender Baby Nighttime Soothing Lotion. Um, I really like this, and actually, I think for somebody who's an adult that likes lavender would really enjoy this. It's a very thick emollient um, cream. Grady gets very dry in the winter. We're almost done with winter here. Now that we're in February, the weather's going to start warming up. But I would definitely repurchase this again next year for Grady. I would probably get it like in the late fall, maybe November, to get us through November, December, January, and then winter here is pretty much over. Um, I really like this brand as well. This is the brand that makes this that I showed earlier. They have a really nice line of things for babies or kids um, and adults. I definitely recommend this if you have a little one um, or even yourself that is into lavender. It's very soothing. My son really enjoyed it and so did I, so I wanted to mention that. This here I absolutely love. It is the Pearl Essence brand micellar cleansing water. This is uh, with coconut water. I actually got this at TJ Maxx. Um, the tag is a little peeled as you can see, but I remember it was about seven, I think it was $6.99 it looks like. This was great. Um, I actually, next time I'm at TJ Maxx, plan on getting another one of these. They had a few different flavor or scents. Um, same product, but different scents. I absolutely loved this. This bottle lasted me a long time. I use it every night um, after my cleansing oil just to get any traces of makeup off before I exfoliate. Uh, for $6.99, this was an excellent micellar water. I can highly recommend it. I think that this is really universal, universally appealing to anybody. It's gentle, it's effective, and the price just can't be beat. So definitely check your TJ Maxx um, beauty section next time you are in one because I can highly recommend this, guys. It's it's really good. Moving along, this is a L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. This is good. Um, I'm currently using the Tresemme Heat Spray, but um, I had no issues with this. It's inexpensive. It's like, I don't know, six or seven dollars. It lasted a long time. Um, it was great. I have nothing bad to say, and I can highly recommend it for a drugstore heat protectant. Moving along, I have another product that I used on my son. This is by 7th Generation. It's the Coconut Care Moisture Lotion. I got this at Babies R Us. I think I had some like reward points card thing, um, and I got this. It was good. It didn't blow my mind, but it was good. It was pleasant. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, I, I, again, it didn't blow my mind, but it was, it was nice. Um, I like the natural ingredients, and they had a few different things um, by 7th Generation, so I'm curious to check out some more for Grady, but I can definitely recommend this. It was perfectly adequate, um, and he seemed to enjoy it as well, and I remember it did smell really good too. Moving along, I have an Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. I love this stuff. I have raved about this. It's excellent. It is a really good high, higher-end um cleanser for a good price. I believe the price on this is $19.50. It could be $20 on the button, um, but it will last a long time. One of these five ounce tubes lasts me easily, I don't know, four to five months, and that's with either once a day use or every other day use. It's awesome in the morning. It wakes you up. It smells great. It works good. I can't really say anything bad about this. I mean, yes, it's a little more pricey than drugstore, but for $19.50 for a scrub that's quality that's going to last you four to five months, I really can't complain. I'm definitely going to get another one of these next time I am in my mall that has an origin store. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. Next up is this Philosophy Clear Days Ahead. These are um, salicylic acid uh, patches um, or pads, not patches. Um, I use, there's 60 in here. It says to use them twice a day. I use them once a day. Um, I do these in my night routine. I am currently trying something else right now that's similar, but these were really good. The only gripe I have with them is the price. They are $42 for this little jar. Again, they're 60 pads, so you could either get two months of use with once a day use or one month use with twice a day use, obviously. Um, really like them. If money was no object in my beauty budget, I would buy these for sure every month or every couple months, but um, I'm on a budget just like a lot of you guys, so if you're not, then you might want to try them. If you have problem skin, uh, they're great for my night routine for fixing old scarring or preventing new breakouts. 
I definitely liked these a lot, but right now, again, I'm trying something else. And next up is this Perfectly Posh Slap Wired Caffeinated Body Cream with Spicy Orange Chai Fragrance. My friend Adriana sent this to me. She is a Posh consultant. She gifted this to me and I really appreciated it because it was really nice. It was very intense. Um, I don't know if it's something with a caffeine, but it was a really nice cream. I really, really liked it a lot. Um, it smelled good. It was nothing bad to say here. It was really, really good. And I'm a pretty harsh critic with Posh, but I really did like this. Um, and I really thought it smelled delicious as well. So thank you again to her for sending me this. I really enjoyed it. Next up, guys, is this Hemp's Goji Orange Lemonade. This is a limited edition herbal body moisturizer. I love this brand, first of all. I have loved this brand for a long time. They are pricey. These bottles are $23 at Ulta. Um, I usually never buy them unless they are on sale. I've heard a, a few people tell me you can find this brand at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, uh, which come to think of it, I have started seeing it there since I've been paying attention. Um, my lotion stock is pretty abundant right now, but as soon as I get down um, to you know, using some of that up, I'm actually planning to buy some more of this brand at TJ Maxx because it's a lot cheaper. I think the bottles are like $9.99 at TJ Maxx versus $23 at Ulta. Um, and this was really, really great. I loved this scent. I love this brand. Um, nothing bad to say. I've been a Hemp's lover for years. Moving along, my favorite current shampoo, guys. I have been obsessed with this shampoo for a while now. I want to say maybe close to six months. Um, and I get bored with shampoos. I'm a pretty tough crowd with shampoos because I have a lot of hair issues with damaged, you know, I have color treated hair, damaged hair, dry hair. I love this. The only thing I wish about it is they sold it in a bigger bottle. This is a 9.6 ounce bottle. It's the only size I've been able to find at Walmart or Target. Um, it's a little bit pricey, I think, for a drugstore and the size. It's like 6 or $7, I think. And unfortunately, one of these bottles only lasts me about a month. Um, but it's excellent. I will continue to repurchase it. If anybody knows where I can get this exact shampoo, it's the Intense Hydration, the black bottle in a bigger size, please let me know because I will go out of my way to buy that, maybe online, something I don't know about. Love this shampoo so much. I already have another one going in my shower and I already have another one as a backup under my bathroom sink. I love this stuff. Next up is another Grady product. This is by Baby Ganix. It's a foaming hand soap. I don't know why I threw this in here, but I think um, maybe just to talk about the fact that it was really good. Um, we used this in his bathroom. It was very gentle. Um, again, don't really know why I threw this in there. Maybe I threw it in absentmindedly, but it was a good product. Um, if you're looking for you know, a more natural, foaming, gentle hand soap for your little one's hands, this was really good. Um, it's a little bit pricey for the size, but it was a good soap, and this brand is really good as well. They make really good lotions and creams. Next up is this RX7 Argan Oil. Uh, this was a hair mask, um, and I'm pretty sure I got this at like TJ Maxx. Yes. So it was $7.99. Um, I'm going to say this was okay because it doesn't stand out to me as something phenomenal, um, but also it doesn't stand out as something that was terrible. So I'm guessing this was okay. Probably wouldn't repurchase it because I can't remember it blowing my mind, but still wanted to show it because it's in here. Next up is this NYX Matte Finish. Uh, this is a makeup setting spray. My friend Alyssa actually sent me this a while ago. I liked it. Um, I've always said about makeup setting sprays, my favorite is the Urban Decay All Nighter. But this one I, it was great. Um, I don't have any complaints about it. It was inexpensive because I know this brand is inexpensive. Again, this was a gift, but I'm assuming it's probably under $10. Um, and it was great. I have nothing bad to say about it. If you're looking to try a different setting spray, I can recommend this one. It was really good. Lastly, I think, a couple more things in here. So I have this Pantene. As you can tell, I've been on a Pantene kick. This is a frizz fixing serum. I did not like this. Um, it didn't do anything for me. I remember thinking I wish it would just hurry up and be empty. Um, I was not sad to see it go. It didn't do anything for my hair. Maybe if your hair is not dry and damaged, I would recommend it, but it didn't do anything for me, so I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, again, because for me, it was a little bit just, it just wasn't hardcore enough for me. It didn't really do anything, so um, I will not be repurchasing that. And then lastly, another little gifty from my friend Alyssa. She spoils me. 
This is the Kate Somerville, Somerville Exfolicate. I've wanted to try this forever and a day. Um, and oddly enough, my friend Alyssa sent it to me. She didn't even know that. This was great. Um, it's very intense. I don't think I would repurchase it because of the price. It's very expensive. Um, it's like this weird algae green color, but it's very good. It's intense. Um, it's abrasive. It definitely has a spa, like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It has like a facial spa, um, element to it, like a professional grade element to it. Um, but I wouldn't purchase it, repurchase it or purchase it right now just because of the money. I don't know the price point, but I know it's not cheap, um, even for a small one like this, which is the half ounce. I loved using it. Um, I thought it was great. If money was no object, I would buy it for sure. Um, but the only thing deterring me is the price, but it's awesome. So if you are somebody who wants a really intense, professional feeling skincare exfoliator, I would recommend this. Uh, but be, be prepared to come out of the wallet because it's not cheap. Um, this brand is not cheap. So. That is my empties for this edition. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.